What's good guys, we're back at it again with another video. As you can see from the title, today we're going to be talking about something that I get a lot of messages about. I've actually seen it in a lot of comments and that is, how do I translate what I've been working on in the gym, what I've been working on in practice, what I've been working on when I was outside for two to three hours playing on double rims, how can I translate that into actual in-game action where there's coaches, refs, on-ball pressure, like I always say, when the popcorn's popping, how can I translate what I've been working on in practice in the games? Because for a lot of basketball players, as they're growing up, including myself, there was a disconnect between, okay, when I go into the gym, remember, I was a big man. When I'm going into the gym, I'm practicing my jump shots. I'm practicing my handle. I'm practicing all these things. And I'm playing one-on-one -on -one against the majority of the guards, and I'm beating them. But when I go into the game and tip-off happens... It's like I never even worked on my handle. It's like I never even worked on my jump shot. And I know for a lot of you guys, you feel the same way because like I said, I get the messages. I do have a couple tips for y'all. Let's talk about it. Now, the first piece of advice that I even want to bring up when we talk about translating skills from practice into games, and it's something that I know a lot of younger athletes probably won't like to hear. You have to watch yourself play. You have to watch yourself on film. And I know when you're younger and shoot, even when you're older, when you're in college, trust me, it doesn't go away. You don't want to watch yourself on film because the only memories you have of watching film is coach puts the film on. Coach sees me make a mistake. Coach yells at me. Coach yells at the team. All of a sudden, we end up in the gym on the line running. And I know, like I said, it probably is one of the first things you think about outside of, of course, watching yourself for clips, for highlights. But you need to look at it from this angle. Watching yourself play is the only way that you're actually going to be able to see where you get your shots from. Because where a lot of players run into trouble is that they go into the gym and you're working on all these different combos. You're working on all these different moves, these step backs, these hezzies, all this, this, and that. But you don't get anything close to that in a game. You're never in a position in a game to even take a shot like that, to make a move like that. It doesn't make sense to walk into a gym and work on an in-and-out cross hezzy step back when 90% of the time you're touching the ball on the block, which is what I was like in high school. It doesn't make sense to be a guard out there on the perimeter working on all these crazy step backs, leaners, all this crazy stuff, when 95% of the time your coach has you running off of pin downs, spotting up in the corner, he wants you to be able to make and knock down open threes. This is why a lot of players are frustrated is because you're going into a gym working on something that you're not even going to have an opportunity to show in a game. You need to look at, okay, this is where I usually touch the ball on the floor. This is where I usually catch it. This is usually where coach has me operating out of and work on moves first from those spots. Now, once you get to those spots, here's another thing that trips a lot of kids up. When you're actually in these spots where you're actually going to be able to take shots in the games, you're not going full speed. You're going half speed. You're kind of just going through the motions and you're not even visualizing a defender being in front of you. That's another thing that a lot of players don't understand. And it's kind of why there's such a separation between what the pros do when they work out and what younger players do when they work out. Because when pros work out, they're getting into the gym for 45 minutes to an hour going 100, 110 percent because they understand that if I go game speed, if I visualize a defender in front of me, when it's time to actually play, it's going to be easy to translate those skills. But for a lot of younger players, what you do is you walk into a gym and you're in there for two to three hours, not even barely sweating. You kind of just going through the motions and you wonder when you get into the game, when there's someone in your face pressuring you, why you can't handle the ball. It's similar to what I just said in that practice habits video in that your practices, your workouts, when you're stepping in the gym with the intention of getting better, it has to be harder than what happens in the games so that it actually translates. If your practices are easier, if you're going 50-50, it's not gonna translate. I'm telling you right now, it's not going to. Now let's just say I'm a player who, okay, I've seen where I get the ball on the floor, I've watched myself on film. When I'm stepping into the gym now, I'm going 100%, I'm simulating the game, I'm visualizing somebody's in front of me. The next biggest thing now is repetition. And when I say repetition, I'm not talking about 100 shots, 200 shots, 300 shots. I'm talking about doing that particular move. I'm talking about shooting that particular shot until like Kobe says, it feels like it's your skin. And I'm telling you, repetition might actually be the hardest thing that we've talked about out of everything today because there aren't many players who find joy in walking into a gym and working on one crossover, one shot, one move for 30 minutes to an hour and staying in that one spot the entire time and doing every single rep with 100% effort. There aren't many players out there who can actually walk into a gym and do that 
and after 10 to 15 minutes, not start to get bored and not start to let their focus wander and not start to just, ah, man, you know, I'm, I'm trying to just do something else. But let me tell you all a secret. You know what type of player actually goes into the gym and maintains that level of focus and gives 100 percent effort every rep in the same spot for 30 minutes? Pros. Kobe literally would talk about it. He would do certain moves until they felt like his skin, which is why when he went into a game and you see two people running at him, he doesn't even see them because he shot that same shot, done that same move 10,000 times. And for all of you guys that have messaged me about, oh, I've been struggling with confidence and I'm really having a lack of confidence when I get into the games, understand that the answers that you're seeking are in the work. It's in the focus. It's in the giving 100% effort in every single rep. To build that confidence, I've told you guys before, you have to be able to know in your deepest heart of hearts that, okay, this shot that I'm about to take in this game, first off, I already knew that I was gonna get this shot because I've seen it on film. I worked on this shot game speed and I really visualized somebody in front of me closing out on me and I got in the gym and I have shot this same shot I don't know how many times. And I'm telling you, if you do all those things, confidence won't even be something you think about because you actually know in your deepest heart of hearts that I put that work in and I deserve to make this shot. As a player, the only way that you're actually going to be able to translate what you've been working on, what did I say in the beginning, when you've been outside on the double rims, when you've been in the gym, when you've been in practice, the only way that you're going to be able to translate those things to actual in-game action is the work. And I've told you guys a million times before, your work is going to show. We have a lot of players out there who oh, I don't know why these things aren't translating into the games. Like I'm really going out there and I'm going in practice and I'm trying, but for some reason it's not translating. I'm here to tell you right now, you might be able to lie to yourself, but the work is not going to lie. The work that you've been putting in, the amount of effort that you've been putting in, the amount of focus that you've been having every time you step into a gym is going to show game time. And on the other side, the lack of focus, lack of effort, lack of work that you've been putting in is also going to show when it comes to game time, if you really haven't been in the gym like that. Like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I appreciate you guys watching. Remember, if you want the one-on-one -on -one evaluations or the breakdowns to get posted on the channel, hit my website, btibasketball.com in the description. If you have any questions for me or need any advice, hit my link for Noodle in the description. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys next time with the next video.